Hello everyone and welcome back to Banisher's Ghost of New Eden. So we're continuing where we left off in the last video. So we spoke with Fairfax about our findings and it looks like all signs are pointing to his son, Lamnation. He was the one that gave Caleb the botched ritual for the resurrection. So we have to figure out if that was intentional that he knew that the resurrection wouldn't work, but he wanted to see what would happen, or if it was unintentional that he came across it. It was already translated, and he figured, hey, maybe this might help Caleb. Either way, we still need to speak with him to find out if he's been experimenting with anything else that may have had unintentional side effects, like making people sick, or making the well a no longer viable source of water. How's Bowles? What happened here? Something's emanating from under there. No wonder this place is off limits. These must be lamentations either way. Something has me. Wards. I'm at your side again.
feeling that we're sick ducks. Hugging all the fun. Bloody mongrel. Just doing a little bit of a look around. I know that we should be able to come back to this area, but I want to go ahead and get it out of the way now, so then we don't have to worry about it later. Lamentation Hasco, are you here? Perhaps there's a key.
Not really. Mean anything to you? Not a thing. He mentioned an old mill. Seemed fascinated by the place. The incisions are clean, the precision of an expert. There's magic here, though faint. Nothing incriminating, yet. Remember what we found at Caleb Watson's? Maybe we're not looking in the right place. If I had something to hide, I might hide it in an abandoned mill. I definitely agree with Antea that if Lamentation is doing anything super secretive, uh, it's not going to be in a location that even though he can probably see someone walking up, his father or a villager may still catch him unawares if he's inside and deep into whatever he's doing. So a map that we found in this place is pointing to an old mill house. So let's make our way over and see what we find there. Looks derelict. Is he really inside? What hides here in the dark? Come out, come out. Déjà vu. 
He tried his hand at several translations. This relay lad seems dangerous. His apprentice seems to be following him down the same path. He doesn't speak well of his dad. He thought he was better. That's not a particularly difficult task, in fairness. More ghost wards. Someone was being extra careful. So, what are you hiding in here, evil spawn? Glancing at the original writing, Lamy's work was poor. No wonder the ritual he spawned for Caleb from those botched words of power went wrong. We need to get to the top floor. Bet we'll find something. This place has been a veritable Aladdin's cave of madness and horror. It's an abandoned mill, Antea. It's not Versailles. The roots won't remain visible for long after I take the heart. You need to see this. More magic muckery. What exactly was he up to? His final notes sound optimistic. Did he succeed? It's just a lift. Why is this mechanism so complex? That book, again. So these cultists used the Agrippa for their rituals. That sounds bad. How bad? Very bad. In search of eternal life, they fell into a trap. This book. Now, for their hubris, they served the void. They became a sorrow. Should be useful.
Shooter. Years of practice. The lift should work now. Sorrow won't welcome us. What around here does? You know, I could get to like it underground. The darkness, the gloom, the cool air. Really? No, not really. Not at all. Here we go again. The pin is red. Oh, I might return. 
Dyer. You'd miss it. You know you would. You need to see this. Dead animals, again. Different symbols and magic. Scenes they were used as bait. That's how we got through the Sorrow's vigilance. So, here we are. They wanted immortality. They got it. The trade isn't fair. Guess that's the point. Now let's go before I change my mind. Rituals, void breach, general weirdness. I mean, can't be far. Destroy those ghost wards if you want me back. Pushing the limits of their knowledge without considering other lives. That just makes them human. It's awfully calm. Why is it awfully calm? Thank you. Anytime. Spectres. They haven't noticed us. Stay low. for now. An Ariadne's thread leading through the void. Very useful indeed. Oh, very useful right until it falls apart. 
Then you're stuffed like force meat in a turkey. Creepy hideout. The governor's spawn likes a bit of drama. This one's different. Looks like it died diseased. This is some dark sideways magic. It's forbidden. I've read it. Sometimes I want What are you about you? I feel like we're not done here. Ugh. What is this thing? Banish your rule number four. If it oozes, don't touch it. Another botched experiment? It may be native to the void. <laughs> so, you can see me. Aren't you full of surprises, young Master Husker? You may talk. A banisher ghost. Amazing. How on God's earth did you find me? Never mind that. Thank the Lord you did. Thought I was going to grow old in here. Lamentation, isn't it? Do you remember me? Call me Lammy. I remember you. You spoke with me father. As hiding places go, the void is quite the choice. Yes, an amazing place. Or plain? World? The Aralu is not easily described, but it makes a fascinating study. Tell me, how did you get past the Guardian beneath the mill? Did you use a decoy? We fought it. Don't change the subject. You fought it? Of course you did! A good thing too. I was starting to think it was wise to me tricks. Oh, but I have so many questions. This isn't a social call, kid. And we are the ones with the questions. Oh. Oh. Of course. We must talk of Caleb Watson. Why in the hell would you give him a resurrection ritual? Ruth's death hit poor Caleb hard. He was alone, and so I would often stop by his workshop. We talked. He took a keen interest in my studies and was a good listener. When he learned that she could possibly return, he had one question. How? You saw his grief as an opportunity to test the effects of the Nesipalan Genesis. Oh. You know the ritual too? Amazing, isn't it? I've studied it. The actual ritual. Not the mangled version you gave Caleb. Yes, and I'm sorry. I found it in a copy of De Occulti Philosophia by Cornelius Agrippa von Nettesheim. A remarkable book. I've met my fair share of illustrious occultists, and none owned an authentic Agrippa. Much is lost in translation or altered in the printing. I doubt your copy is an exception. Of course! The power is in the words, and mine were wrong, so the power went awry. How very fascinating. Are you aware of what would happen if people learned of your studies? Surely the acquisition of knowledge cannot be a sin. Will you still say that when Pennington accuses you of witchcraft? You must remember Deborah. 
Miss Comenius. Yes, of course, I remember. Your father tasked us with an investigation. One way or the other, we must return with the mystery solved. Ah. I think I understand what you're saying. I might be in a tiny little bit of, uh, danger. You see ghosts. You stroll the void as if it were your garden. You possess and share forbidden rituals. Who are you really? I'm Lammy Haskell, and I'm a man of many sciences. I am, in fact, a true pursuer. That raises more questions than it answers. What are the pillars of the universe? Which principles underpin existence? As occultists, do we change the world or scratch upon its surface? Each discipline I embrace peels back a new layer of reality. I'm yet at the beginning and see where I already stand. Amazing, no? You did not find the void breach beneath the mill by accident. You had help. Who taught you? I did my research. Suddenly, you're a man of few words. I'd rather not involve those not present. Discretion, you understand. Your father is convinced a witch poisoned his well. Caleb Watson was cursed by a ritual you gave him. I'd focus if I were you. We must counter the devil with knowledge of his tricks. That, my father always said, is the purest of God's work. Ah, I can imagine your father saying that. When I was ten, he gave me my initiation. Demonology, sir, as he would say. He saw me as his heir. Then, of a sudden, the books were forbidden. So I stole them. The very same books he'd forced upon me as a boy. I understand them where he does not. I did no wrong. Apart from a little theft. You've studied demonology. Did you do it alone? When my father forbade me to continue, I confess I disobeyed him in secret. Those big books were very boring until they were forbidden. Suddenly I could not get enough of their secret knowledge. Funny, eh? More recently, a good friend of my father showed me that I had only been scratching at the surface. Who was your father's friend? An itinerant Frenchman who often visited New Eden in recent years. He called himself a true pursuer. As a thinker, he was prolific and profound. My father was so proud to be included in his discourse. For him, knowledge is the ladder to greatness, and greatness is the prize. To me, knowledge is itself the prize. From the looks of this place, you're knee-deep in research. What are you doing here, exactly? Searching for the origin of the Harrow's Plague, of course. And I have a theory on the subject. Of course you do. Go on, then. Now, at first, I believed the water poisoned, but my father sealed the well, and yet folk remained sick. They looked for witchcraft, a foolish, uneducated suspicion, yes, but with some truth concealed behind it. You see, the Aralu taints New Eden. Its influence leeches into the harrows. The evidence is everywhere. By the Aralu, do you mean the Void? Neither name does it justice. This place is beyond words. The Aralu, Mr. McCraith, is made of the very fabric of our primordial myths. Isn't it amazing? How can you be sure the Void has tainted the region? In New Eden, the threshold between our plane and this is thin. Even I, a novice, may reach the frontier and then go beyond. I also believe it happened before. Some years ago, New Eden was hit by another epidemic. Yes, we learned of it in Fort Jericho. 
I believe that first epidemic was caused by the porosity of the frontier between New Eden and the Aralu. Although, where theirs was an affliction of burning flesh, ours is a corruption of mind and spirit. And I believe I have found its source. There is a substance, a strange ooze. You may have noticed it. This, I believe, is the true source of the Harrow's poison. It carries a particular stink, on the scent of which I experience first confusion, then a loss of control over my limbs. Confusion, paralysis, can you tell me more? I felt my movement slowing, my thinking too, space seemed to thicken. But wait, what if, what if it was not space thickening, but time slowing? In recent months, many in New Eden have spoken of similar feelings, of lost time, hours untrackable, days passing unremembered. Who knows how the Aralu disturbs the minds and bodies of women and men? Unfortunately, I cannot reach the source. The Aralu is a formidable place. Tricky. A maze constantly evolving, changing, reshaping itself. The Isthmus, for example. I found an oozing crack in the ground. The terrain then remade itself, and I can get to it no longer. Perhaps we might be able to find a way through and take a look at that source. Would you? That would be splendid. Would you mind taking notes? Let's go take a closer look at that ooze then. And with that sorrow gone, I can leave. Do be careful. My home is your home. If you need anything, help yourself. The Aralu is not your home, Yami. But thank you. Uh, pardon my morbid enthusiasm, Mr. Stuarte, but could I ask you a few questions? What do you wish to know? Do you still need to eat? Do you feel hunger? Sorry, it's just you're the first ghost I've met, uh, in person, as it were. I don't eat. Not in the way you do. I feel hunger. Again, not in the way you do. Fascinating. And can you touch things, smell them? Are colors the same as you remember them? My senses are different. It's difficult to describe how. I can see, sometimes touch. I cannot smell. Red tells me this is a blessing. How do you manifest in this plane? Do you feel bound or are you here by choice? It feels... As if I were clinging to a rope, high above the abyss. Even if I wished to let go, I could not bring myself to do it. I see. What about your banisher skills? Can you use them? Do the accoutrements of your craft still work? As a ghost, do they not harm you? The marks on my hands and the rings on my fingers aren't actually there. They have no more effect on me than a memory. Can you talk to any ghost you wish? No. I sense traces of their presence. To talk to them, I must still do the work. And yet here I am, talking to you. How marvelous. The dead are rarely as articulate, nor are they accommodating. In fact, they're often quite rude. We should probably get going. Some other time, then. Well, we've merely scratched at the surface of the great mysteries. I mean, look around us. We stand here beyond the ultimate frontier. S sorry. I mean to say, yes, Mr. Stuarty. And there, we should get going. So, the pious governor's unassuming son is our evil Harrow's witch. The more powerful the loose cannon, the more dangerous it is.
I don't know if the paralysis and confusion applies to me, but I feel strange, and I suspect the ooze. Only one way to find out. Yes, I can take it. Well, that was not pleasant. Not pleasant at all. Wards, I'm going to need a hand here. All right, now that we've come to a good resting spot, let's go over some of the things that Lamentation has told us. So he's been studying occult um, and demonology things since he was a kid. And while he thought it was boring, eventually he started to take an interest in it and then started to perform some of the rituals that were in the books his father provided for him. Uh, this allowed him to create things like the ghost wards and then eventually void walk. Uh, which is where we find him. We find him hanging out in the void, but he became trapped because he couldn't leave the way that he came because of the gigantic sorrows uh, that was made up of believe. the members of the old occult uh, group that had been experimenting in that area before Haskell and his villagers uh, had settled down basically in this area. So while he's been in the void, Lamentation has been studying uh, the creatures that live there, but also he's been studying uh, this goo that he's been finding everywhere. He believes that the goo is a part of the void. It's a building block for it because it'll probably solidify and create a new kind of like island. But he also believes that this is seeping through the cracks between the mundane world and the void world and making people sick. So he's been trying to find the source of it, but the void is like a maze. So every time that he feels like he's getting close, he ends up, he ends up losing location. So when he tries to retrace his steps, uh, he ends up lost and has to turn around and try to find his way back to his encampment. Over my dead body. <laughs> through the breach it separates like a festering wound how delightful let's see what lies on the other side Underground, looks like. Wonderful.
The ooze affects the incarnate too. Who goes there? Is that a ghost? I don't know. But I don't think we're alone. What might you be then? from the harrows we may be below the well no wonder they all got sick This house belonged to a certain Antipas and Clemency Gibbs. So here's my theory. My theory is that the occult group that was here before, when they were performing their rituals, didn't close them properly. All of the notes that we found says that whenever they performed the ritual, they felt like nothing happened. But then when they did perform like a larger ritual to summon a demon, the demon would then escape and they would get hurt and they were like, oh, I guess we should stop. So they didn't close the ritual or banish any of the things that they had gotten uh, to come through those openings. And so now... The people who settled here are getting sick because of that and lamentation is picking up where those people left off by performing various different rituals that they did to i guess you could say greater success but at the same time it feels like it might be just aggravating what's already here
With that being said, we're getting close to the end of our video, so I want to go ahead and say bye guys now and just kind of let the rest of this play through. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. I hope that you're enjoying these videos. We are almost done, and I say I feel like we're almost done um, because I think after this major uh, case, there's probably going to be like two or three more cases, just like with Fort Jericho. And then after that, it's like straight to New Eden. So I will try my best to record those. I'm probably not going to be doing a lot more of the side quests, like clearing out the nest and things like that. I think um, if I do do them, like I said, they'll probably be off camera. But other than that, I will try to do as much as I can for those other hauntings because they contribute directly to the ending that I'm hoping that we get where we resurrect Antea. Um, so again, thank you so much for joining us and I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Bye. What is lurking here? Time to work, Vanisher. Oh, shite. Did you, did you just say shite? You?